like to think I'm a pretty put together person, but this game, Red Ball, might have just proved that all wrong. Yes, this is my speedrun of Red Ball, and usually I like doing my commentaries while I'm doing the gameplay, but this was one of the games, surprisingly, that I just couldn't. The reason for that is that this game is so exact, and if you want to get a good time, or at least an adequate time, you really have to concentrate up, and you probably don't want to know how many hours I spent on this game. A little too much. You probably read the title, and I'm just assuming it probably said something along the lines of I went insane. And this time, no, it wasn't clickbait. I actually did. I played this game for probably about five hours over and over again and just tried to get a good time. I'm going to stop going into that. You know what? It's taking me into a little bit of a dark place. So instead, we're going to focus on the game. Hey, we have axes. We're using some good strats to get through all these different levels. The speedrun that we're doing is the 12 level speedrun. So basically the any percent for the game. And yeah, you can see us having different strats like there instead of using the momentum that you would get from that ball. We just jumped at exactly the right time to get right up there. Here, we're just going across. We can skip that one platform, go right here, and we're going to reset our ourselves right at that flag so we can get in kind of a better position here I kind of messed it up I don't even really know what I did wrong but it was a run that was worth continuing so you can see me keep going at this one we're going to use the different momentum we get you know it's pretty simple stuff the run isn't too complicated until later on I mean at this point we have a pretty interesting part where you can see these moving platforms we go across those and we jump at the same time as that platform that moves up reaches the peak of its height and if we do that, we get that kind of like super bounce that you saw right there. And that will let us go ahead and complete this level. And here is one of the most interesting levels, the car level. Now, I don't like the car level because the car is very hard to control. And it killed a lot of my runs for seemingly no reason. Basically, what we're going to try to do, we're moving it forward. Then we go to the back to kind of try to control it. So you can see me holding backwards and also moving a little forward, trying to make sure it just doesn't crash. And somehow that one didn't crash. I remember when I was doing this one, I definitely thought it was going to. And this one, we have a really interesting strategy where you can see we jump right there to get just enough momentum to skip that entire part. So we didn't have to wait on that slow moving platform and can instead go right over this guy. We're going to go to the flag reset right there go down there and this thing is another really big run killer i'm having so many flashbacks eh that's life you can see we're resetting a lot and that will basically make sure that we always have the cycle that we want if we don't reset it can kind of be a weird cycle and it can kill us or just not be what's intended for us to do so thankfully the resetting does reset all the different things and now we're at this part where we're just kind of jumping from platform to platform we get the flag reset of course and we have some more of these moving up platforms so we're just going to go up those nice and slowly to be honest there's not too much to say right now it's kind of simple gameplay we're a red ball we move forward we jump you know it's uh yeah this is kind of a simple part until we get to right here so if you noticed earlier in the run i paused and unpaused really quickly and basically what that does is it allows us to jump on spikes but you can only jump on them you can't just like stand on them and i'm not sure why that works at all and actually sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it just will kill you for some reason which i'm also not sure about so thankfully <laughs> it didn't happen that time but whatever we're on a train now this train is a pretty interesting part. Basically, you want to get to the front of the train. So we're using all these different sections when we can to go right over there and we can get the flag right there. And then the train keeps going and falls off a cliff. I'm not sure why they sent that train over to kill itself, but whatever. Now we're on level 12. You can see we use the spike thing again to where we just completely <laughs> skip the spikes for level 12. We just skip the entire level and don't really care about it. And then right at the end, this is where we can finish out our run. So instead of using the lift, we just go right over it. That just saves a little bit of time. So we do that instead, even though we have to bounce up and down a little bit. And yeah, that's going to be the run 406. And like I said, this run drove me insane. Um, I can't really explain how much it did because I didn't have the live commentary. But at this point, I was like, wow, an adequate time. So I killed myself over and over again because this ball caused me so much pain, so I might as well cause it so much too. What am I saying about a flash game about a red ball? Also, since people have been saying they missed it, we got 97th place out of like 250. So actually not a bad placing, but was it worth my sanity?